Tonight, I'm attending a five-course black tie formal dinner held here in Emmanuel College. This is actually the first formal dinner I've been to in college since before the COVID pandemic, so it's nearly been two years, which I can hardly believe. I'm currently in my final year studying medicine here at Cambridge, and I'm so, so happy that things are finally opening up again so I can make the most of college formals again before I graduate in June. So tonight there is going to be a black tie formal dinner in the Emmanuel College Hall. So this is essentially a slightly like kind of fancy dinner in the big classic hall in Emmanuel where we all dress up in smart clothes. So I'll be wearing a dress, the guys will be wearing suits and like black tie. I think this is a special one run by the MCR, which is essentially the society at Emmanuel, which has all the graduate students. So along with all my housemates, we're gonna head over to the old library and have some pre-drinks so I'm just gonna get ready. I've already done my makeup as you can see uh, Just a couple more finishing touches needed. I'm just going to get changed into my outfit for the night I pick out an outfit and change into my dress for the evening, which is a red dress with a white floral pattern My absolute favorite thing about this dress is the very exciting pockets that it has I can easily carry my phone around with me and I really really think that more women's clothing needs pockets like this I pop on my necklace to go with my earrings, which completes the look after having a sip of mint tea to refresh myself, I finish up my lipstick and the rest of my makeup. I slip on my high heels for the evening and briefly consider if they're a bit too ambitiously high since I do hope to do a bit of dancing tonight, but I decide to throw caution to the wind and here's the full outfit. There we go, final touches, a little bit of perfume. So often we wear gowns to formals, but today because it's a special black tie formal, we don't wear any gowns. So I'm just going to wear a normal jacket today. And then it's time to head over. From 7pm we start to arrive at the pre-drinks in the old library which is a Prosecco reception where we can say hi to all our friends and generally mingle and chat while sipping some bubbly. I check out the seating plan which is conveniently pinned up on the notice board and everyone is dressed in black tie with no gowns and it's just a lovely vibe all around. At 7.30pm we gradually wander over to the hall for dinner. The tables have been fully set for the five course meal with multiple sets of cutlery and four glasses per person. One for water, white wine, red wine and also a port glass. I sit down with my friends and we soak up the vibe and chat. You want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> As per tradition, the gavel is banged on the high table to mark the official start of dinner, and we all stand as the master reads grace at the start of dinner. Amen. It's five courses this evening, and the menu looks pretty tasty tonight. We start with an appetizer of chicken Caesar croquette served with white wine. I'm initially a bit confused by what this is, but I eventually figure out that the chicken is actually inside the ball of the croquette. <laughs> Next, the second course is roast salmon with a pink grapefruit hollandaise sauce, which sounds pretty experimental, but is actually really, really delicious. The lovely catering staff kindly top up our white wine as well. The third course is roast rack of lamb served with red wine. The catering staff come around with the vegetables on a platter and serve them out for us depending on what and how much we'd like to eat. Here at Emma they always use these silver platters with three sections of different kinds of veg. And sometimes here at Emma we play a bit of a guessing game as to what vegetable selection they're going to bring out on that evening. The fourth course is dessert, which is a triple layer chocolate brownie with berries and cream. There is a semi-banned Cambridge formal dinner tradition called five pennying, where if someone manages to put a five pence coin into your dessert before you touch it with your spoon, you are expected to eat it with no cutlery and no hands. No! There's no way I'm doing that. 
unfortunately this happens to me tonight and my friend very kindly five pennies my dessert before I can put my spoon in it as I was far too busy vlogging everything. Just another one of the many sacrifices I make for this channel. So I tuck in face first into the chocolatey goodness and cream and berries and try to manage it with any small remaining shred of dignity. And of course I managed to get some chocolate on my face in the process. Thankfully, I am not the only one, as my housemate also gets five pennied, so he joins me in the fun. Then we all stand for the Thanksgiving reading. Which is followed by the announcement of the MCR committee election results. The MCR is the student society at Emmanuel for all graduate students, including clinical medics, MPhils, PhD students, MBAs, and all the rest. The master of the college also gives a short speech, followed by the incoming MCR president, who is also one of my housemates. This was finally followed by the cheese and port course alongside coffee and tea and after dinner mints. Unfortunately, we were having such a blast that I totally forgot to start filming until after we'd already demolished most of the cheese. <laughs> the port is Emmanuel College's own ruby port and I choose to go for a classic chamomile tea tonight as a nice decaf option. After dinner, we gradually head out of hall onto front court and take some group pictures with the classic Emmanuel Chapel in the background. Fun fact about the Emmanuel Chapel, it's also known as the Wren Chapel, as it was built by Christopher Wren, who is the architect who designed St Paul's Cathedral in London. Afterwards, we head upstairs for the post-dinner entertainment, which is music, cocktails and dancing. There are bowls with different mixed cocktails, such as vodka, cranberry, gin and tonic, etc., which we can buy for one pound a pop. We dance until fairly late and then head back home as a group where we brew a pot of mint tea and share some cheesy biscuits together. It has been an honestly unforgettable evening coming back to college formal dinners. Before tonight I'd almost forgotten just how much fun these college events can be and it feels so unbelievably good to be back to almost normal socialising at long last after nearly two years. It finally feels like the uni experience has started to really return and I'm already looking forward to the next formal dinner event in the calendar which will be the annual MCR Christmas dinner. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed coming along to a Cambridge formal dinner with me. If you enjoyed this Cambridge vlog you might also like this video over here where I share a little bit more about my Cambridge experience. I'm planning to vlog quite a bit more of my final year here at Cambridge, so stay tuned for that and let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.